How's it going guys? This is Attorney Dar Romero with some good news regarding immigration. So now with uh, President Biden in power, he's becoming a little more flexible with immigration law compared to the last four years that we endured. So now the main focus of the, uh, the president, he wants to focus on people who are a, national, a threat to national security, a threat to border security, and uh, they're a threat to public safety. So for national security, those are people who are engaged in terrorism or espionage. That's one of their main focuses. Also, they want to focus on people who came in on November 1st of 2020 and forward. So if anything back, they're saying that that's not a priority for the government. And also, uh, they want to make sure they focus on people who have aggravated felonies or who have been involved in the street gangs or terrorist organizations. Again, aggravated felony, that's a federal term. So just because if there is a felony at state level, doesn't mean it's an aggravated felony for immigration purposes. So now they're directing eyes to focus on this, this types of people who are uh, priorities, but they're also directing uh, the um, uh, prosecutors from immigration court that if these people do not fall within these categories, you can dismiss the case, which is a good thing if it works because if a case gets dismissed, they're no longer in immigration deportation proceedings. However, if the case gets completely dismissed, then the person will not be able to get another work authorization document or work permit. Uh, so what the government will be looking at to consider whether or not they're gonna dismiss the case, they're gonna look at the uh, person's uh, residents here in the United States, if they have family who has been in the military service, how the person arrived to the United States, their immigration history, their current status, their work history in the United States, uh, if they pursued education, if they have been a victim of a crime, uh, or any other compelling hum humanitarian reason. So this is a good thing. Uh, so this, this is good for people who have weak immigration cases that potentially can get their case dismissed. So if you or a loved one is currently in immigration proceedings, talk to your attorney, see if uh, they can submit a motion to dismiss or terminate, but this is good news for many people. Unfortunately, right now, there's uh, they cannot freeze cases like they were at did a few years ago, but because there's some current cases from higher up courses that don't allow it. But right now, this is uh, a good step in the right direction. So we shall see. All right, thank you guys. Uh, have a nice day and uh, take care.